أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My name is Safa Ahmed and I am honored to welcome you all to the Fall 2023 Session 1 of the IOU Open House which is the gateway to gain an insight into the e-learning experience at IOU. I would like to begin by thanking our speakers for having taken the time to share the knowledge and expertise with us. I'm also grateful to all of you for taking the time to attend this open house, and we hope you will find this informative and beneficial. I encourage you to participate by asking questions and sharing your thoughts at the end of the open house, session one, through YouTube chat. We will take these chat questions at the end of the session. Taking you for today's session, we have an interesting lineup, which is as follows. We will commence the session with an enlightening address by our esteemed Dean of the Faculty of Arabic and Islamic Studies at IOU, Dr. Muhammad Anwar Sahib. To keep the momentum going, we will hear some valuable insights on the e-learning experience at IOU from Sister Sana Khan who is the Student Affairs Officer at International Open University, while also taking us through the e-learning platform. Our immensely experienced and always supportive Sister Madiha Bukhari, who is the Registrar at International Open University, will lend an eagle eye view into exploring student life and International Open University. I'm sure there's nothing better than hearing our fellow compatriots' experience during the educational journey at IOU. And we have with us Sister Gulli Hadika and Sister Mariam, who will take us through the educational journey in IOU. To conclude, we will engage in the much-awaited live Q&A session by one of IOU's student support officers, Sister Aisha Ahmed, where you can ask any question pertaining to IOU, and she would be ready to answer them for you, inshallah. Without further ado, I warmly welcome our respected Dean of the Faculty of Arabic and Islamic Studies at IOU, Dr. Muhammad Anwar Sahib, who has been kind enough to spare time for us from his immensely occupied schedule. Dr. Muhammad Anwar Sahib al-Madani gained admission to the Medina University at the age of 14, where after completing high school, he completed his BA in Islamic Studies as well as his Master's and PhD in Quranic Sciences. Dr. Anwar is the Imam of Masjid al-Taqwa in New Zealand, as well as the founder member and the chairman of its parent body, At-Taqwa Trust. He is also the president of the Federation of Muslim Scholars of New Zealand and lectures in Islamic law at the International Open University, where he is the dean of its Arabic and Islamic studies faculty, as well as the lecturer for tafsir, hadith, and aqidah. Dr. Anwar has been invited to participate and speak in several academy conferences by Muslim scholars and organizations in Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, India, Bangladesh, Australia, New Zealand, and Fiji. He has also been invited to speak on national television and radio shows in Saudi Arabia and other countries. The dais is waiting for you eagerly, Dr. Anwar. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. <clears throat> to all of you listening out there, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillahi wa ba'd. Let me share a secret with you all. It won't be any more secret, right? And that is probably I'm more excited or at least as, as excited as you people are to listen to me if, if I am also that much excited to be with you people. Sharing and caring is what we as mankind should do. Here, today, I'm going to tell you something which is going to make you the best. With no exaggeration to it, if you want to be the best, you need to know he's the best. And if he or she is the best, then how can you be the best? 
Allah Azza wa Jalla is the only one who appoints the prophets, al -Anbiya. Allah Azza wa Jalla appointed prophets and they were the best. Absolutely, we cannot be like the prophets. Even nowhere near to them or even to those who surrounded them, the Sahabas. However, there is something our Prophet ﷺ has left behind, which you can take legally and it will belong to you. And that is Al Ilmu Shari. Warasatul Anbiya, those who legally inherit the Prophets are Al Ulama. You can be an Alim or Alima or Talib or Talibatul Ilm. And you will naturally start to pave the way to be the best. If you become the best, and if you try to be the best, which is most pleasing to Allah, the shaitan is never ever going to rest, sleep, or let you do what is best. So if you want to be the best, shaitan will never rest. If the shaitan will never rest, it means you are going to do something which is good for you because you want to be the best. And that comes with Talib al -ilm. Shaitan is going to open all the doors for you to make it difficult. Starting from right now, when the time for registration comes, no, I, I will do it next time. I will do it next semester. I will do it next year. I've got too many obligations, too many duties. I can't find time. Ya akhi, ya ukhti, those before you, they did. They did find time, and I'm pretty sure you can do that also. So this is something very more important. Remember, you want to be the best, and for that to be, you have to do a lot. And that is where we are here to help you out with. And when you are in the process of that, always remember that قَالَ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وسلم, مَنْ جَاءَ مَسْجِدِي هَذَا لَمْ يَأْتِهِ إِلَّا لِخَيْرٍ يَتَعَلَّمَهُ he said, وسلم, if you come to my masjid, and the only reason for you to come is to learn or teach, you are in the level of those who do jihad in the path of Allah. Allah Akbar. Don't you want to be that? Of course you want to be. You don't have to be in masjid Nabawi. You can be anywhere, but you do what he وسلم, said right now here. And then the result is in Allah wa malaikatahu wa ahlu samawati wal ardin hatta namla fi juhriha wa hatta al ud la yusalluna ala muallim in nasi al khair. Subhanallah. The angels and all the creations of Allah in the heavens and earth, even those in the deepest of the sea, right? They will pray for you. Why? Because you teach others what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told you to do. فَعَلَمْ أَنَّهُ لَا إِلَهِ إِلَى اللَّهِ You should know that there is none worthy of worship except Allah. And to know that you need to learn. And once you learn it, you start to become amongst the best. And then when you start to learn and practice and preach, absolutely you will be the best. Remember the shaitan is going to stop you from being the best. But I'm sure you are here just because you want to be the best. With that, you will get a very elevated, lofty place in the Jannah bi idnillahi ta'ala with the ikhlas to come with it. Barakallahu fikum. May Allah make it easy on all of you to be what takes you all the way to the Jannah. Ameen. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fi l'akhirati hasana wa qina azab al-nar. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzat ya ma yisipun wa salamun ala al-mursaneen. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakallahu khairan for that brilliant introduction to our open house, respected Sheikh. May Allah accept it from you. Ameen. At the International Open University, we believe that education must be accessible to everyone, regardless of location or background. Founded in 2001 by Dr. Abu Amina Bilal Phillips, 
Our online programs allow students worldwide to pursue the academic goals and achieve their full potential in this life and the hereafter. We are committed to providing students with affordable, flexible, and high quality education, and we're confident that we are the best choice. One of the many ways that sets us apart is our unique approach to education. We are committed to providing authentic Islamic education, which is based on the Quran and the Sunnah. Accessibility is one of the main features of our programs wherein students can study at their own pace, irrespective of their commitments, be it jobs or even taking care of their families. In addition to that, our programs are affordable and is based on the country in which you reside, taking into account the economic situation on a global front. Apart from that, being a part of IOU makes you a part of a global community of Muslims from across the globe, spanning close to 200 Muslim countries, alhamdulillah. At IOU, we strive for the highest standards of personal integrity, honesty, and responsibility, while being committed to providing a top quality online Islamized academic experience, enabling students to face the challenges of the 21st century. You can experience our highest standards of academic integrity through a blend of programs that we offer at IOU, which combine authentic Islamic education and modern subjects, providing students with the ability to learn their religion and prepare them for their chosen career paths. Ranging from Islamic education to studies in Arabic, education, economics and finance, psychology, business administration and information technology, we offer an Islamic perspective to the secular approach in these subjects. In each of these departments, we offer a certificate, associate degree, and a bachelor's degree program, while some even have the master's and the doctorate program. These programs are of varying duration from one year to four, and students also have the option to select their study modes based on their commitment by making it full-time or part-time. IOU's founder and chancellor, Dr. Bilal Phillips, once said that there is a difference between a student who is a Muslim and Muslims who are students. Our focus is to groom and develop those Muslim students, those whose first and foremost priority is the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Next up is our beloved sister, Sana Khan, who currently serves as a student affairs officer at IOU. Sister Sana has earned her impressive bachelor's and master's degree in Islamic studies from our very own IOU, mashallah. She also holds a BSc in biochemistry and life sciences, a diploma in biotechnology and nutrition, and a master's in neuroscience. We can't wait for her to share on how studies are actually conducted at IOU while providing an in-depth demonstration of our study portal. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Sister Sana. The stage is all yours to take over, sister. Alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Jazakallah khair, sister Safa, for having me. To our dear guests for today, uh, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. I extend a very, very warm welcome on behalf of the Student Affairs Office at IOU. Inshallah, today I will be taking you through the e-learning experience um, as we have it at IOU, inshallah. Um, we will be discussing uh, the, the study material, the course text, um, module unit videos and audios, um, unit tests and slides, um, supplementary sessions, uh, midterm and final exams, and revision uh, live sessions. So I will, inshallah, now be sharing the sc screen with you so that I can take you through the portal, inshallah. So I hope my screen is visible, inshallah. Okay. So uh, once you log in to your student portal, this is how it will look. Sorry, just a moment. Okay, so this is how the dashboard looks. 
um, to your left, you have the list of courses that you will be enrolled in uh, in a particular semester. Okay. Uh, alternatively, there are various other options uh, through which you can access your courses. You have my courses here. Uh, you also have the old courses section. So this will again take you to the enrolled courses. Then oh, we have the calendar, which has all the important dates and deadlines for you to refer to. Uh, then we have the upload certificate uh, page, the page for fee payments. Then we have the exam centers tab. And then we have the student support tab, which is uh, very interesting. It has uh, all the relative, uh, all, all the relevant, um, you know, resources for you to refer to while uh, to help you with your studies at IOU. So you have the social media support group, you have the semester cycle, uh, the student handbook, the FAQs, the how tos. These are basically infographs and uh, you know videos to help you to understand the different steps that can be taken in order to you know um, for example for fee payment to apply for grade transfer and things like that and then we have the help desk which is uh, you know the one-stop point of contact for the students to reach out to the university in case they have inquiries or questions um, then the student uh, the teacher contact policy the video tutorial student counseling and the code of conduct and then of course we have our iou store Okay, now uh, on the top right here, you have your uh, stream that is mentioned. Uh, this will have your name, your student ID, and this particular section shows the time. Um, IOU works uh, on UTC timings. So this is what is reflected here. You can then, of course, um, you know, use a time converter and convert it to your local time, and then inshallah, uh, follow the deadlines accordingly. Um, here again, we have the calendar for easy access to see all the important dates and deadlines. And uh, so as you can see, the moment I put it on a particular date, it gives you the deadlines here, right? Again, this will give you the course overview. So once you enrolled in the courses, it gives you the percentage of uh, course completion. So you can see that. And we have the IOU schedule block, which now since you know the semester is over, uh, you, you will not see the block here, but then we have the event schedule that is uh, in, that is generally pinned here, which you can click on, and uh, it opens a PDF document which you can save for um, for all the important dates and deadlines. Inshallah, this section deals with the announcements again. That's right. Here you have our libraries, which you can uh, you know click on and refer to. Uh, which has all uh, the important resources which can help you with your assignments and research papers. Now, this section basically deals with, again, different portals that we have uh, under the academics. We have the normal and early enrollment portals and, um, you know, the Arabic Tajweed portals, um, grade history, if you wish to know your grade history. So, so it's all related to the academics. Uh, under the documents, uh, we have you know, different letters, if you need any, you can, uh, you know, there, there are certain that are, you know, generated immediately by the system, whilst for some others, like for the provisional transcript or degree, you will have to pay a certain fee, and then it would be issued. Uh, here we have different requests, like for course waiver, quiz resets, uh, exemption requests, and things like that. Then here we have the exam uh, section where, uh, as you must be aware that we have, uh, online exams, uh, but you know, midterm final exams are given at the centers. So you need to register for an exam center. So this is what this section deals with. Uh, this is about the MCQ error reporting portal. This is the fee section where you can pay your um, fees and upload the receipts and things like that. The support section deals with the FAQs, student handbook, you know, uh, this is again similar to the student support tab that we have at the top. And then the student services that we have at IOU, like the Office 365 email applications, the JSTOR library, Oxford University Press, and things like that. Okay. Now, uh, inshallah, I will take you to the course page so that we can take a look of what I was discussing in the previous slide. So when you click on one of the courses, um, it will take you to the course page. page and um, this is what it looks like, right? So um, firstly, we have the course forums. 
the, you know, the most important one is the announcements. This particular uh, forum will, uh, will basically have all the important announcements made. So it's important that you keep checking this, inshallah. And of course, whenever an announcement is made, um, you know, it goes as an automated email alert to your registered email ID. So you will also get that in your inbox. So inshallah, you will know, you know what are the important deadlines that are coming up. Then you have the Ask the Teacher forum where if you have any query that is related to the subject and you need to ask your teacher, you're most welcome to post the question there and inshallah it will be answered by the teacher. Students discussion forum, this is uh, limited to the students only, so they can have uh, discussions with regards to a topic uh, within in the forum. And the technical feedback forum is um, primarily for um, submitting any complaints with regards to any technical difficulties that you might be facing in a particular course. Next is the course text and study material. This basically, this section has all the important um, course text that is required with, for this particular course. It will have the course details um, document, which has the complete layout of all the modules uh, and what will be covered in each section and who is teaching it and things like that. Um, of course, there are other extra books that may be available or they may not be. That depends from one course to the other, which you can, you know, so this is like additional learning material that you can use. Then we have another interesting section that is the course notes section. This is uh, primarily notes that have been prepared by past students. And um, if they have been very kind enough to share it, they have, uh, what they do is they just put it up in this section so that students who come in later, they can, you know, I'll get access to the notes and can refer to them inshallah. Um, as far as live sessions are concerned, we have uh, two live sessions uh, per course per semester. One live session takes place before the midterms and the other one takes place before the final exams. So this is currently empty because the semester is over, but uh, whenever there's an upcoming live session, uh, the link is usually pinned here, right? Now, usually the setup of our courses is such that uh, each course is divided into lectures or what we call as modules. And on an average, each course has 30 modules. And this could vary from one course to another, but, the gen but generally it's, it's uh, 30, course, uh, 30 modules per course. And each module is, uh, it has uh, a video and an audio. So the video is, is divided into three parts and then you have the audio. So it's up to you or whichever is comfortable for you to view. You can, you can use that, inshallah. Um, here you can see the module shows the topics that are going to be covered in that particular module. And then you also have the reading assignments uh, for that particular module. So once uh, you listen to the module, you are done with the reading assignment, then you can proceed to complete the test, inshallah. And then once this is done, you can move on to the next module. So that's how you kind of study. So as you can see, this particular course has um, 17 modules. Okay, then we also have the assignment, which is one usually one assignment per course. Okay, and um, assignments are released on the 20th of, uh, you know, March, if it's the spring semester and 20th of September, if it's the fall semester. And uh, once you click on this link, you will get the file of, uh, the, of the assignment and you can read the instructions and the question mentioned therein and then you can attempt the assignment and submit it inshallah. Then we have the midterm study questions. Uh, these are basically questions which broadly cover the, the, the pre-midterm modules so that you can get an overview and prepare yourselves uh, for the midterm exams. And then this is the midterm exam block. So midterm exams are, um, you know, available at a certain time in the year, in, in the semester, uh, during which they can be attempted. And then we have the post midterm modules. So take it to the bottom of the page. Again, here, if you see, these are study, uh, final exam study questions, just like we had with the midterms. And then you have the final exam block. And supplementary uh, tutorial set, uh, sessions are the recordings of the previous semesters. If there are any for a particular course, you will find them here, which you can click on and then listen to. Okay, coming to the right-hand side, you will find the block for the teacher's contact with their name, email ID, phone number, and the times when they're available. So in case if you don't want to post something on the Ask the Teacher forum, you can reach out to them via email. 
and uh, get your doubts clarified, inshallah. We have something called as the evaluation scheme. This is this, you know, this is how evaluation takes place for a particular course. A certain percentage has have been, you know, percentages have been dedicated to different components like the session tests, the midterm exam, the final exam, and the assignments. And the passing grade is uh, 50. Here, this is the breakdown of the components of a given course. So, like for example, in this course, there, there's a total of 34 modules. So 17 are pre-midterm and 17 are post-midterm, and the number of assignments are one. So again, here you have this section for latest an uh, announcements for quick reference, any upcoming events, and again, your calendars here. So with this, I come to the end of uh, the e-learning experience per se, as and, and the, the layout of the student dashboard and how it looks like. Uh, Sister Safa, can we go back to the slides, please? So, um, Alhamdulillah, now, uh, when you look at the programs at IOU, we have two sets of programs, the non the, the revised programs and the non-revised ones. Uh, the revised programs include the BAL, ALS, the BAIS, um, the BSC IEBF, the BBA degree, the BA English, BA hybrid specialized, BSC psychology, MAIS research, MAALS research, and MSC BIC. Um, the non-revised programs are all the certificate associate degree programs, the BAS, BSC IT programs, MAIS, and the IAP programs. And this is MAIS course-based. Right. Now, when you look at the revised programs, uh, we have two study uh, plans that are available. We have the full-time plan, which uh, is basically, uh, which allows you to enroll in four to six courses. And um, you can complete the program in a minimum period of four years or in a maximum period of six years. Okay, so uh, four years and six years is with regards to the bachelor's programs. With regards to the master's programs, they can, uh, we just have uh, the full-time option in, in the master's programs, with, so you can pursue it in a, in, a, in, a, in a frame of two years or four years maximum. Uh, as far as the part-time studies are concerned, this would, um, this would be based on enrollment in one to three courses. The minimum period to complete the program is six years and the maximum duration is nine years. Uh, I would just like to reiterate that the master's program does not have a part-time study option. Uh, coming to the non-revised programs, we have three types of study plans. First is the full-time plan, which again allows you to enroll in four to six courses. Um, and the minimum period is four years. Uh, for masters, it is again two years. And uh, the maximum duration is, is, uh, is 12 years. And for the master's program, it is four years. Now coming to uh, the, the part-time courses, um, we have enrollments that, uh, you know, part-time study plans allow enrollments between one to three courses. The minimum period is, uh, you know, six years, and then maximum it can go up to twelve years. Coming to the last one, that is the accelerated study plan, which allows enrollment in nine and seven to nine courses. Uh, the minimum period is three years, and uh, maximum is um, twelve years. Now to come to the revised programs, again, if we look at the, um, the, the exam setup. So uh, in case of the revised programs, both the midterms and the final exams are to be given at registered exam centers. So Alhamdulillah, we have uh, multiple centers across the globe and uh, students can you know, um, choose a center which is the most closest to them and they can appear for the exams uh, at the center. This is only for the midterm and the final exams. Um, for the for the bachelor's uh, program and for the master's course-based programs. Master's research-based programs do not have um, exams. Right, so coming to our non-revised programs, uh, here the, the difference is that only the final exams are to be given at the registered exam center. Uh, can we go to the next slide, please? Okay, so um, 
when it comes to conquering online studies, I would like to share a few uh, tidbits with you, inshallah, that would help you to, um, uh, you know, manage your studies at IOU should you decide to join us, inshallah. Uh, firstly, I would suggest that we choose a study plan according to how much, you know, you can manage. So as you can see, we have different study plans so depending on your work schedule and other family commitments. Uh, you are, uh, you know, advised or uh, to kind of join uh, the particular study plan which works best for you, so that you know you're able to manage your other uh, commitments. Inshallah. So can we go to the next point, please? The next is to familiarize you with your program and its requirements, like its curriculum, courses, etc. Uh, et so, um, like I said, that you know, uh, when we when we went through the the entire uh, dashboard and the course page, it's it's important that you know once you once you sign up and you log into your courses, uh, you, you you need to take some time out and kind of explore how the dashboard looks like and how things work and um, how does the course page look? Uh, how are you going to view your videos and your audios? You you need to download them. You, you know you also have the option of downloading them, so perhaps you can um, uh, listen to them when you're traveling or things like that. So, um, so you know, this is what you can uh, you can inshallah follow. We also have the the curriculum that's available um, on on the main website, which can be referred to. Uh, coming to the next point, uh, explore the dashboard and the various resources that are available. I've already covered that. Save a copy of the event schedule on your desktop so that you can make your study schedule, keeping the deadlines in mind. So, on the dashboard, as I said, uh, that the event schedule will be soon pinned up. Inshallah, you can click on that and a PDF document would open. You can save that. You can print it out, whatever works for you. And you can keep all the deadlines in mind so that, you know, you can plan your studies accordingly, inshallah. Then we have the official Telegram groups. If you remember, I had uh, shared the student support tab, uh, you know, uh, I had just uh, shown when we were doing the dashboard that there is a section which says, um, social media support. So that is where you can find the Telegram groups, which you can join. There are different groups available. So you can join them and inshallah, you know, meet your other fellow classmates and, you know, basically uh, interact with them and uh, kind of help each other to inshallah study and learn. Um, of course, as the saying goes, that the early bird gets the worm. So it's um, very important that you begin your studies in time. So you keep the deadlines in mind, you know, that the semester begins from the 1st of September. So you, uh, you know, you start your studies well in advance, plan well in advance so that inshallah you can get the most of it. Uh, try to understand what works best for you. Uh, like the next point, next point says, be consistent in your studies. So when you, when you, when you begin early, uh, you can, you know, then, of course, see the number of courses that you're taking, the number of modules that they have, and how can you divide it, you know, uh, throughout the week, so that, you know, you begin early, and you also have sufficient time to revise, and it's not like, you know, all the modules are piling up towards the end uh, for you to study. So if you begin early, inshallah, you would be able to, uh, you know, finish in time, and also, of course, revise. <clears throat> can we go to the next slide, please? Uh, uh, with this, of course, I would also like to share a few important uh, hadith uh, from the Prophet وسلم, which reiterate the importance of seeking knowledge, uh, you know, for us Muslims especially. Uh, this is, uh, again, these are well-known hadith, I'm sure we all have, uh, you know, come across them many times. The first is where the Prophet وسلم, said, seeking knowledge is an obligation upon every Muslim. So uh, this is, you know, it, 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 it's, it's, it's something which is an act of ibadah. It is something which is, you know, compulsory for us. And it is something which is, you know, ingrained very beautifully in the teachings of Islam. And this is something that is, you know, we are all responsible and we are all, you know, expected to, to do and to pursue. The next uh, hadith, which is um, also very, um, very, very well known, where the Prophet وسلم, said that whoever takes a part upon which to obtain knowledge, Allah makes the path of paradise easy for him. So this is another uh, motivational hadith for us to, uh, you know, take this, uh, you know, journey to of obtaining, you know, knowledge for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because, you know, of course, our, our ultimate destination as Muslims is, is paradise. And with that, I come to the last uh, hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, 
which uh, I would not, uh, I'll just leave it for you to, to glance through because this was very beautifully explained by uh, Sheikh Anwar. And uh, with this, I would like to come to an end uh, to, my, to my session. Um, I would like to thank you for patiently listening to me and whatever is good is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Jazakallahu khair for having me. Assalamu alaikum. Jazakallah khairan, Sister Sana, for your elaborate explanation. May Allah accept it from you and may Allah make the knowledge beneficiary for all of us. Ameen. A gentle reminder to the audience to post their questions in the YouTube chat box so that we can answer them at the end of the session. The session now will welcome Sister Madiha Bukhari who is our reputed registrar at the International Open University, and she will be enlightening us about the different aspects of student life at International Open University. Sister Saida Madiha Bukhari has a BSc in Computer Engineering, a BA and an MA in Islamic Studies from IOU, and she has completed graduate studies in Quality Assurance in Tertiary Education and Masters in Tertiary Education Management at the University of Melbourne, Australia. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Sister Madiha. The floor is yours to take over. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Jazakillahu khairan, Sister Safa. Uh, inshallah. Uh, so let's begin now. Uh, Bismillahi rahmani rahim. Uh, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu uh, to our guests today. Uh, as Sister Safa just introduced me, I am Siyad Amadiha Bukhari, I'm the Registrar uh, at the International Open University, IOU, and it is my great pleasure, alhamdulillah, to welcome you to IOU Open House today. Uh, now, since we operate online primarily, as you have already seen today, mashallah, uh, that your learning area will be completely online, inshallah. So uh, in the same way, your entire experience with us will be online, uh, mostly uh, your everything which is related to the administrative support or any other uh, help or support you need and also uh, your academic pursuits. And of course, we do have uh, local student committees where you can have some on ground activities, but uh, everything official is online. So in the registrar's office, uh, for example, we have the admissions office. Therefore, uh, your admission application uh, will be processed through this office, inshallah. And uh, we actually look forward to all of you who are watching today and perhaps later uh, that you come and join and we receive your applications, inshallah. And uh, basically like any conventional university, uh, here you have the opportunity uh, to avail all kinds of services. For example, we have credit transfers. So if you have already completed uh, some credits in another university, uh, you can see credit transfer here, inshallah. And uh, uh, you, if you're joining any of our bachelor's or master's program, uh, or even a certificate or associate degree, because these are undergraduate level programs here at IUU. And uh, then we have uh, other services available, uh, which uh, you would find on the dashboard of your learning area that you have already seen uh, in the presentation today. For example, uh, you would be able to download your student identification letter if you need to submit this somewhere, your admission letter, your transcripts, uh, once you have completed a semester successfully, and uh, there are other uh, services available. And then uh, we have this option called grade transfer. This is available for what you saw uh, previously as the non-revised programs for the associate degree certificate program and uh, the uh, MAIS course base that we have and so on. Uh, this allows you to basically complete a course in the following semester if you were not able to completed in the first place, or uh, you would even like to improve your grades. And uh, this option is available in some of the programs, as I mentioned. And uh, as, as you have already heard today that your midterm and final examinations will take place in the exam centers. So we have examination centers, actually uh, over a thousand active centers uh, across the globe. And uh, so you can register at, at, a, at an IUU approved exam center, which is uh, in your area or, you know, in the city where you live, uh, city of your residence. 
So you would need to register for the examination center before every examination period, inshallah. So uh, this is another important thing. Then we also have the graduation office and this comes under the registrar's office as well. Uh, we support your entire graduation process through this, uh, especially once you have successfully completed your course requirements. Inshallah. And lastly, an important part of your university life would also be uh, the various rules, regulations, and policies that we have at the university. So the university secretariat, this functions uh, under the registrar's office, we coordinate and support these processes. So at IOU, we have a complete governance structure. This starts from the governing council to the Senate and all the other relevant committees and boards and uh, different academic and administrative policies are therefore approved by the relevant authorities and then implemented by the various offices we have in the university administration. And uh, through this, inshallah, we try to ensure a smooth running of operations. And many of the policies are available for you to have a look at the university website uh, under the frequently asked questions. And there is also the news and announcement section uh, on the campus that uh, you might have noticed during the presentation earlier. And um, there's also uh, the main website covering many of the information. These are beneficial for you to stay up to date with uh, what we have uh, to offer to you and uh, what policies we have and so on and so forth. Uh, so this is all from me. Inshallah, regarding your experience as a student at IOU, uh, where you would not only be studying, but also availing many, many of these services and support, inshallah, from the various options that we have available uh, to make things easier for you, to support your needs, and make your experience the best one possible, inshallah, at IOU. Uh, so thank you very much for your time. Jazakumullah khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakallah khair, Sister Madiha. May Allah accept it from you and grant us beneficial knowledge. Ameen. When we look to enroll into any university, we always try to gather reviews and capitalize on the viewpoints from its students. Keeping that in mind, we have with us some of our students who are presently enrolled in IOU and will let you in on their educational journey while handling multiple responsibilities. While we can understand that it is not an easy ride, it most definitely is possible if we set our heart to it. Cutting right to the chase, let us now hear more from Sister Gulle Hadika, who is currently studying in the BA Arabic program at IOU, and she is in semester six, mashallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Sister Gulle Hadika. Let's hear you now. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakallah khair, Sister Asafa. A resplendent greetings to the fresh faces of promise, the venerable juniors, the accomplished seniors, and the British prestigious faculty members. A warm welcome. Bismillah rahman rahim Salatu wassalamu alaikum rasulullah. My journey with IOU began amidst life stems, discovering solace in IU's embrace. Why International Open University? a resolute choice. October 2019, I was listening to Dr. Abu Amina Bilal Phillips' video of launch of IOU Urdu. I applied for admission, but unfortunately, a marriage with a divorce on a mis misunderstanding far across the distances leads to an opportunity for me to do BA Arabic here. Amidst life's trials, IU began igniting a steadfast journey. IU transcends mere virtuality. It's a spiritual nexus. A call from Brother Usman Ghazi curate about my incomplete admission form. Aimed life stems, he urged enrollment. Being a master's in economics, I optioned for BA Arabic, a quest to fathom the Quran's essence. In adversity, I use become shown guiding my resolute stride. In the Makuntu Agriku as Bahat Hawaii, Filberdi as Bahat Defai, Filzolami as Bahat Nuri. When I was drowning, she became my ear. In the cold, she became my warmth. 
In the dark, she became my light. The Student Affairs Office of an International Open University orchestrated a post competition for 2021. Alhamdulillah, I took second position and I devoted my prize to a prisoner student section of IUU, my most favorite section of IUU. My life began historically with I was influenced, yet a new student. I encountered trials, tasks that besieged my spirit, orchestrated my malware forces. But providence prevailed, I used to my as my bulwark. An angelic figure, Sister Samina Gul, a retention officer, fortified my resolve. Amidst the trepidation, I feared expulsion. Nay, I affirm that face has not transformed. Ana anka ma kallam tuhum lakin nahum kara wa fi hibri wa fi awraki lil hubbi rahiya wa laysa bi wusaha alla tafuha mazar al tarak. I haven't spoken about you to them, but they read you in my ink and papers. For love has an essence and it cannot be smelled in farms that grow speeches. I would like to rephrase International Open University IOU simply as I-O-U. Jazakumullah khairan, Yasirin. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Jazakumullah khairan, Sister Hulli Hadika. Moving ahead, we have with us Sister Mariam, who is eager to share her inputs as well. She is currently studying in the BA Arabic program at IOU and is in semester eight, mashallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Sister Mariam. Over to you. Wa alaikum wa salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Verily, all praises and adoration are due to Allah. We thank Him, we seek His help and forgiveness. May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his household and companions, and on all those who follow his path until the day of Qiyamah. My name is Mariam Taiwo Kusoko King. I am a BA Arabic language and linguistics student. I have had a BSc in cell biology and genetics a decade before joining IOU. But for the love of the dean, I joined IOU three months after I had my first child. Combining IOU with homeschooling and nurturing and caring for my children and home, and home, also caring for the newborn was indeed challenging for me. But with the help of Allah, dedicated and supportive IOU help desk, I was able to wither the storm. As a mother of five and a homeschooling mom, the most focused period I got to study was when everyone was asleep, the midnights. Yet I had to be up again at as early as 4.30 a.m. to prepare the children and myself for classes that commences at 6.30 a.m. as our home school combined Arabic Islamic education with secular education. In my journey through IOU, I lost three semesters to ill health and also because my home needed more attention. One of my toughest semester was the fifth semester when I had studied past half of the semester and took ill. This necessitated the need to quit studies and the forfeiture of all the hard work resulting from sleepless nights. It was also very painful that incomplete semester's work would not have been lost if I had understood and requested for a grade transfer instead of a semester deferment up to freezing of works. Alhamdulillah, I repeated the fifth semester starting all over again, but I appreciate the IOU members of staff who stepped in and displayed empathy in handling and solving my case. I summoned up courage again last year, 2022, my seventh and eighth semester were the most challenging as I was pregnant with my fifth child. Going through the first trimester in sickness and pains with loss of appetite, managing low and high blood pressure at different stages of the pregnancy were all I had to contend with. I couldn't meet up with some deadlines and couldn't, couldn't turn in any of, of my assignments in the seventh semester. In my eighth semester, the final semester, which is the just concluded semester, I had to battle with low and high blood pressure at different stages of the pregnancy and eventually had to be admitted at the hospital. Alhamdulillah, at the end of it all, I put to bed safely with the help of Allah. 
while I had thesis and module test and my final exams to write. All these were some, but not all of what I had to face as a wife and mother of five. My oldest is 14 and, and youngest two months plus. Also to mention that during my IOU journey, one of the new friends I made in IOU is a mother of eight children in her mid forties as well, with her first child being a medical doctor. I have also met an old friend's mom taking the same course with me at IOU. The, the bottom line is irrespective of your age, you can't afford to stop learning as age is never a barrier. The Prophet Wasallam says, seek knowledge from cradle to grave. Also to add that, no matter the challenges of all trials you encounter, you can surmount them with the right attitude, dedication, dedication, and help from Allah. You may also need to take a pause, deferring your studies until you are able to get yourself together again. Studying with IOU can be self-paced. Also, IOU has got efficient, empathetic, and dedicated help desk staff and team of staff working to make each student's journey as smooth and as each free as possible. Whatever the trials and challenges, seek help from the help desk, seek their advice, make clear your issues and pour out your minds in the best of manners and your issues will be resolved the evening love. Finally, I thank the IOU members of staff for giving me this opportunity to tell my story in order to inspire the new students. Jazakumullah khairan. Jazakumullah khairan, Sister Maryam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you in all your efforts. Mm -hmm. Please take note of the important dates and deadlines for your admission in the fall 2023 semester which is currently being displayed on the screen. As you can see, the early bird discount expires on the 31st of August, 2023, while the new semester commences on the 1st of September, 2023. The admission confirmation deadline will end on the 28th of September, 2023, and the semester fee payment has to be completed within the 29th of September, 2023. Lastly, the enrollment deadline for the fall 2023 semester is the 30th of September, 2023. Let us now jump right into the much awaited Q&A session. And we have our student support officer, Sister Aisha Ahmed, who will now proceed to answer any questions that you may have, inshallah. Please ensure you type your questions in the YouTube chat to receive real time responses. Over to you, Sister Aisha. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to everyone present here. Thank you to Josefa and all the other speakers we have had today. Very insightful thoughts by each of you that truly bring to light the um, purpose and mission of the International Open University. My name is Aisha Ahmed, Student Support Officer at the IOU, and I'm here to answer any questions that you have for us today regarding the university, its programs, or any related questions. Uh, as informed by Sister Safa, you can post your questions in the YouTube chat box and I will answer them to you, inshallah. So let's begin. The first question is from Brother Vincent John. He asks, how the degree, how will the degree reach you when you are done with it? Uh, in this case, once the degree is completed and you have met the graduation requirements, uh, we will airmail the degree to the students wherever you are across the globe. It will be airmailed to you, and um, along and the document that will be airmailed is the attested certificate that you have achieved at IOU. The next question is from Brother Amar Ahmed. Is BMAIS a revised course or a non-revised course? It's a non-revised program, which means that it will have only one exam, that is the final exam for each course in the semester, and you don't have to visit the center for the midterms uh, for the BMAIS program. The next question is from Saeed, Brad Saeed. Can you complete bachelor's in three years? Uh, we used to have that facility wherein you can complete the bachelor in three years, but for our revised programs, this option is no longer available. Uh, but for the non-revised bachelor's program, which is currently only the bachelor's in information technology, for that program, you can complete it in three years under the accelerated mode, which uh, 
enables you to take around seven to nine courses per semester. The next question is by Sister Noor. Uh, I'm a student of the AALS. Can I get admission in MAIS after completion of the AALS? Now, admission for MAIS is uh, the requirement is a BA in Islamic studies, but if you have completed the AALS, you can submit this degree, but you will be uh, requested to give an admission test. And based on that, then the requirement will be checked, the eligibility will be checked, and then it will be informed to you whether you will be eligible for MEIS or not. So it wouldn't be a direct process. Yes, of course, if you have a BAIS, then it would be uh, direct. From Sister Fazia, uh, I'm from India. Please give me some information about the diploma courses. How can we plan, join, and choose these courses? By the diploma courses, uh, since we are speaking about the degree campus, if you're referring to the IAP program, which is an intensive Arabic program, or you're referring to the associate degree programs, which earlier was referred to as the diploma courses, uh, then there are different requirements and uh, eligibility for these programs. If, it, if you're talking about the uh, associate degree programs, then you require um, a high school certificate, that is a grade 12 completion certificate for the diploma courses. And they span over two years and they have 24 courses in them. This is speaking about the associate degree programs. But if you're referring to uh, the in, uh, IAP, which is the intensive Arabic program, then that spans uh, across two years. And for that, the, there is no eligibility requirement per se. So all you need to do is submit your photo ID and your photo, and then the admission will be checked for the program. But as the name goes, it's a it's an intensive program, uh, which means that you will have two courses to complete per semester, but each course would have to be completed in three months. So each course is session wise. Um, apart from that, if we are referring by the diploma courses, if you are referring to the uh, bridge programs uh, for the bridge to masters in Islamic studies and the bridge to masters in the Arabic program, then for both of these programs, you require a degree certificate, which is the eligibility criteria. Uh, but the duration for these two programs is 18 months. Uh, so it's a pretty short program. It's a bridge program that will give you access directly to the MEIS program or the MA Arabic program, depending on which diploma you complete. Uh, for planning and joining the courses, the admission procedure stays the same, the registration portal stays the same, but when you're selecting your degree, uh, the stream and the department, accordingly, you can make your choice whether you want to go for a degree or the certificate or the diploma program. The next question by Brother Saeed, when is I likely to launch the Master in Business Administration? As of now, uh, we do not have an exact date for it, but inshallah, pretty soon, uh, because we are on the discussion for it, and inshallah, once it is launched, uh, the announcements will be made. Uh, Sister Samiha is asking how many semesters are there in any Arabic? We're looking at four semesters in any Arabic, uh, wherein we have one course per semester for the program. Uh, the next question, Brother Abde Wadud. Uh, my question is, can I use virtual cards as means of fee payment? Uh, when we are referring to uh, virtual cards, if you are referring to locally available payment uh, cards that are there for certain countries, then if we have that option in, uh, we have it for certain countries, for example, in Kenya, uh, we have this uh, facility. So in that case, if the option is available, you can use it. But if not, then no, we go by uh, the Stripe payment, which is using the card, the Visa card, the credit, uh, the credit card or the debit card. Uh, and apart from that, we have the local bank accounts. Next, my sister Zeba. What if a person has not completed the high school certificate? Um, if the um, high school certificate is not completed, then 
we have the audit option. The audit option allows students to enroll into the program and study its courses. And this is applicable only for the degree program and not for the associate degree or the certificate program. Uh, the audit option allows you to study the same courses that are available in the degree program. However, towards the end of the program, you will not receive a undergraduate degree certificate, but you will receive just a certificate of completion. Uh, so in that way, you can enroll into uh, the, the degree program without the uh, high school certificate. All right, uh, next one is by Gaurav Fayyib. I backed a bachelor in biochemistry five years ago and just completed an MD this year. I am in the final year BA Islamic studies with IAU. Can I be admitted into PhD in IAU? Uh, currently, we are not offering the PhD program uh, at IAU, so currently it's unavailable. Uh, but then if you already have an MD and you've completed your BA or Inshallah, you will be completing your BA in Islamic Studies with IAU. You can apply for it, but it is subject to review by the registrar's office uh, because we do accept uh, the for PhD, we do accept from the other disciplines as well. However, there will be a complete uh, review done and only then we will be able to tell you whether you are eligible or not. Next question, this is to Zeba. If we pay the applicant fee plus sellers the fee together due to transfer issues, um, then will I be able to access the course when I paid or will I be able to access? Okay, uh, we encourage the students to pay the semester fee only after the admission is confirmed. Uh, the application fee of USD 10 has to be paid before uh, the admission process, but the admission, the semester fee uh, should always be paid only after the admission is confirmed. Uh, this is to avoid any issues later because due to some reason, if the admission is not confirmed, uh, then uh, that would be a problem. Now, uh, in case you, uh, it, the application fee and the semester fee is paid together, and uh, you would like to go access the courses before uh, the program starts. That is, that's the early bird option that we have and the early enrollment option that we have that allows the students to access the courses even before September 1. Uh, September 1st is when the enrollment starts. Um, 30th September is when, when the enrollment ends. Okay, so before th September 30, if your admission is confirmed, payment is confirmed, you can access the courses through early enrollment and um, commence your studies. But from September 1, the semester will officially commence, which means that officially then you will be able to also access the coursework in terms of the module tests and uh, you can complete them as well. Uh, the next question, Mr. Mansura, is there any specific credit we need to fulfill in a semester? Can I only take two courses for BMAIS? For BMAIS, uh, it is not the selection of the courses to study in the semester is not credit based. So for BMAIS, if you would like to enroll into the courses, it would depend on what type of study plan you have picked. So if you have uh, taken the part-time study plan, then you can enroll into one to three, anywhere between one to three courses. But if you have taken the full-time, then you can go for four to six. And in the accelerated mode, which is available for BMAIS, you can take seven to nine courses. So, um, there is no specific credit limit for the non-revised programs and BMAI is being the non-revised programs. You can go by the number of courses. Uh, the next question by Sister Samiha, what certificates are in master in Arabic? Um, I'm sorry, Sister, I'm not able to follow this question. If you could just uh, reword it and post it in, then inshallah, I will look into it. Um, Brother Ab Abdewadud, I had assignment to send on September 20 for fall. What if I enroll late? The assignment is not, uh, if you mean that the assignment submission is September 20, then no, that's not the case. The assignment questions will be released only in the first week of October. 
And um, once the assignment questions are released, students have close to uh, one and a half month to complete the assignment. So even if there is a late enrollment, and by late enrollment, we mean close to September 30, then they still have the time to complete the assignment. So the due date, yes, of course, the assignment submissions do have a due date, but students have ample amount of time to research and then submit their assignments. Next, by Sister Mansura, is there any specific credit? I believe I've answered that question. Sister Samiha, how many semesters are in MA Arabic? Which are, yes, in MA Arabic, we have uh, four semesters, uh, which will be completed over a span of two years. All right, next question by Sister Fazia. Can I get a scholarship for higher diploma in Islamic studies? Uh, the higher diploma in Islamic studies, which is the bridge program. Uh, I'm sorry, but for the bridge program, we do not offer uh, the scholarship option. The scholarship option is available for the intensive Arabic program, which is IAP, and all our degree programs uh, in the various disciplines that are there. We have the scholarship available for them. Information about general diploma courses and how to choose a course and connect with other students. For the general diploma courses, it's a completely different campus that we're looking at. It's called the Open Campus. And uh, for these uh, courses, as a general diploma courses, uh, the registration is through a different link. And um, once you register, this, this also involves a payment. So once the payment is done, you will be able to access the courses. There is no eligibility criteria over here. There are close to 36 courses or more across the levels that are there. And you can choose any number of courses. But if you want to achieve the general diploma in Islamic studies, you must complete 24 courses of the available uh, 30 to 36 courses that are there. Uh, connecting with the other students, uh, that's not um, even, there are forums on the general diploma section for each course, there are forums. So the students can converse uh, about the course material, about the course on those forums. But apart from that, there is no other way that uh, we can connect with the other students. The next question, does BSIT have PHP and web development courses? It is in integrated into the program. There are different uh, semester and the different um, uh, courses that are available. I really do not have information on each and every course that is there, but it is there on our site. If you go to the BSIT, uh, if the moderator, uh, the uh, YouTube chat box, if you can give the link to the IT curriculum page, you have the course descriptions, as well as the different courses that are uh, offered from semester one all the way to semester eight. So you can have a look at that. The next question by Brother Saeed, why does IU certificate take so long after graduation? This is because the attestation process is um, a little long. It does take long for the, uh, for the uh, attestation of the certificate. And that's the reason we keep it at that time duration of around uh, six months to nine months. Ideally six months, but sometimes if there are any delays, so we keep an upper limit of nine months. So um, that will be... Uh, that is the upper limit for accessing the, uh, the certificate. The next question, again by Brother Saeed, is Master in Psychology research based or by coursework? It is coursework, the uh, Master in Psychology. Okay, uh, the next question is uh, by Sister Sofian. When the Master in Arabic will be launched, not the research oriented one? Uh, inshallah, soon uh, it is in the pipeline. So, the Masters of Arabic, inshallah, I cannot give an exact date or an exact semester, but inshallah, it is in the pipeline and it will be launched soon, inshallah. Next question, Sister Mansura. If we have made payment and we want to drop a course that we have enrolled, and the payment for that course will be kept in balance. Uh, I'm going to assume that we are talking about BMAIS. So if that's the case, then um, uh, the 
Yes, so for VMAIS, it depends on how many courses or which bracket have we fallen under. So suppose if you have made the payment for four to six courses and you drop, uh, say, two courses and then you get into the part-time uh, brackets, in that case, then we will check when was the course drop done and accordingly, uh, the if there is, it will be kept as balanced because if it is done way ahead into the semester and uh, uh, you can see half the semester has passed then that wouldn't be we wouldn't be it wouldn't be possible to keep it as balanced however if it is done right at the beginning for example now you have early enrolled into the course and then you feel that you will not be able to keep up pace and you would like to drop it in that case if the bracket changes for example the study plan when you drop the course the study plan changes from full-time to part-time in that case then uh, the difference amount will be maintained as balance please do send in your questions uh, so that we can have them answered Okay, the next question uh, from Sister Sofian. Are the master degrees recognized in the world? Yes, our master degrees are accredited and they are alhamdulillah recognized all across the globe. Uh, but then we always advise our students to check with their Ministry of Education or otherwise their uh, educational organizations within their country or where they wish to apply to check if um, they would accept it or not because we are accredited, alhamdulillah, but then certain universities have specific requirements. Uh, so you would have to check with them as well. The format of the questions, if we are referring to the degree programs, uh, then the degree programs, they are and there are two options over here. In the non-revised programs, we have the questions which are coming in the form of MCQs, which is a multiple choice questions. This is the module test, the midterms, the finals, all of them will have multiple choice questions. Of course, the number of questions will vary. In module tests, you will have only five to six questions. However, in the midterms and the finals, you have 50 questions and the timing will also vary. But if you're talking about the revised programs, then in the revised programs, we have the question format is of two types. We have part A, which is a multiple choice questions, whereas part B is the open-ended questions, wherein students are expected to write answers uh, for the question that is asked. Okay, I believe that would be the last question for this evening. In case you have further questions, uh, please do not hesitate to contact us through the different available media, email, chat, WhatsApp, all of those details will be shared in a while and we would be happy to assist you and clarify it out, inshallah. Uh, hoping to see all of you in our IAU family, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Over to you, Sister Safa. Jazakallah khairan, Sister Aisha. Stay tuned for our next open house sessions with our eminent guest speakers, Dr. Bilal Phillips and Sheikh Muhammad West on the dates that have been assigned. We'd like to invite all of you to join our live sessions on any of these days, and you can learn more about our university and get your questions answered in the specified dates and timings as shown below. I would like to thank all of you immensely for participating in the fall 2023 open house session one. I hope that you have found it informative and beneficial. In light of this aspect, please do not hesitate to contact the IOU help desk at info at iou.edu.gm. I repeat info at iou.edu.gm for any assistance so that we make your processes seamless and easy. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to illuminate our hearts with a desire to learn his deen and embark on a journey of knowledge 
but sincerity, consistency, and noble intentions. Amin. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.